Hello and welcome to the Cavern of Terror. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to the Cavern of Terror. <laughs> Why is there always thunder when that happens? Anyway, I'm back with another horror Blu-ray update. Now, this one's a little bit bigger than you're used to. That's what she said? That's not what I'm... The point is, this update is a little bit bigger than my last two. So let's just jump into it. First off, I'm going to start out with the most impressive pickup, and that is the Slipbox version of Alexander Aja's The Hills Have Eyes remake and its sequel. It's still sealed. I think I'm going to do an unboxing video on this, but if you look at the side here, it's got both Blu-rays for both movies, and these are both unrated. I really, really enjoy the original one, well, the remake of the original one, and the sequel I saw one time. I remember hating it but I might like it more now. And this was just too cheap to pick up. I picked this up at Best Buy, the Blue Dragon, for eight bucks. You can't beat that, had to pick it up. Next up is a movie that I've been wanting to pick up for a while, but I haven't pulled the trigger on it. And after being defeated by the Blue Dragon the other day, I went down to Second and Charles, and lo and behold, I found Dog Soldiers. This is not the uh, Scream Factory version. This is a, a regular Amore version, I guess. Uh, solid werewolf movie, checked it out the night that I bought it, badass movie. It's directed by the same guy that did The Descent, and I love The Descent and The Descent Part 2. I know a lot of people don't like that one, but I do. Uh, and I love werewolf movies. If you see my review for Howl, I'm a sucker for werewolf movies, along with wolves. And Dog Soldiers is great, so if you haven't seen it, go over there and check it out. Go over there, where are you going? Check out Dog Soldiers. Next up is a remake of an Asian horror film, The Tale of Two Sisters. Horror Addicts and my boy Lee from Drum Dums did a fantastic review on it. Check that out if you haven't seen it. But I picked up The Uninvited. Um, never seen it. Really interested in checking it out. Haven't seen The Tale of Two Sisters either. So it'll be interesting seeing the remake and then going back and checking out the original. Uh, but I really like the cover art. I think it's really interesting. Uh, the back is pretty interesting as well. I actually have a pretty interesting plan for this. Next up I have Holliston Season 1 and Holliston Season 2. This show is awesome. If you like horror comedy, you're really gonna like, I don't know what I'm doing with these, I'm shuffling them. Don't know why. Um, if you really like horror comedy, you're really gonna love Holliston. Um, it's written and directed by Adam Green, well created by Adam Green, he doesn't direct every episode, but he is one of the main actors on the show, along with Joe Lynch, who plays his best friend, um, Dee Snyder from Twisted Sister, and Odor Shiangas from War, who I believe is only in season one. But um, if you like horror comedy, I'm saying, if you love horror comedy, you're really going to like Holliston. They break down the fourth wall. There are tons of horror cameos. You know, there's a bunch. I'm not going to ruin them for you if you haven't seen the show, but there's a lot of them. And a lot of them have worked with Adam Green before. Do you like clowns? Huh? I love boobs. I'm a really big fan of this TV show and I'm pushing for a season three. Come on, let's make it happen. Next up we have Barry and the X starring Anton Yelkin, Ashley Green, and Alex Zaha. Oh! Okay, Zach, you can do this. Enunciate. Alexandra Didario. Yes! I did it! I made it through! It is also directed by Joe Dante. Bear in the X, I talked about it on week one of Drum Dumb's uh, 31 Days of October. I'm on week one, talked about this. And uh, I think this is really fun. And Joe Dante, unfortunately, doesn't get a lot of love anymore, but he's right up there with John Carpenter, Wes Craven, Toby Hooper, uh, George A. Romero is a legendary horror director. And this is a uh, fairly uh, recent, I can't talk, fairly recent film, 2015. Uh, all the uh, actors are really good. Uh, Oliver, I forget his last name, plays Anton Yelkin's brother. He steals the show in this movie. He's really funny. Um, and Ashley Green can pull off a very menacing character, and I did not know she could do that, so props to you. Um, 
in Alexander Daddario, you already know what I'm gonna say. 28 days later, this is kind of the introduction to running zombies with the rage virus. Uh, Danny Boyle directed this movie, and he kind of beat out Zack Snyder with the Dawn of the Dead remake in 2008, which came out a year after this movie. Um, and this is fantastic. If you have not seen 28 Days Later, I definitely suggest it. And where have you been if you haven't seen it? Um, Cillian Murphy is the main character in the first one. I have not seen 28 Weeks Later. Lee, don't kill me. Your suffering will be legendary, even for you. Um, yeah, I haven't seen it, but I've heard mixed things about the sequel, but it's readily available for me to buy. If enough of you want me to check it out, let me know. Uh, I don't know why I keep spitting out. But I'm a really big fan of 28 Days Later. I think it's a really good movie. I remember when it first came out, and I know that it was shot really cheaply, and it was a big thing for this movie to be made on such a small budget back in the day. So I can't wait to check it out again. Don't hurt me, I picked up Wrong Turn 3 Left for Dead. This one's directed by Declan O'Brien, who's also directed two other films in this series and Joyride 3, which I recommend. I have a whole series of reviews on the Joyride series if you haven't checked those out yet. This was a fun movie. Um, not gonna ruin what I truly think of it, but it's pretty well directed. There are a couple things that I would have changed. The practical effects are amazing. Makeup, really good and the story's kind of all over the place but i'm gonna get into that at a later date i'm really proud about this pickup i got this one at second and trolls i have directed by sam raimi drag me to hell i got this with a pristine slip um it was sealed in the store couldn't believe i found it was such a good slip i've seen this movie a couple times really liked it don't know why i didn't have it in my collection uh, and to have it with a slip like this, that's awesome. I'm a huge fan of the first two Spider-Man movies and some parts of the third Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie, but I really wanted him to get back to horror because I'm a big Evil Dead fan in Army of Darkness, and this was a nice return to form. I know he produced a couple other horror films like uh, The Boogeyman, uh, which is a remake. It's not really a remake because the original is completely different, but we're not going to get into that. Nice return to form. Finally guys, I have Final Destination 3, The Final Destination, and Final Destination 5. What can be said about the series that hasn't already been said? The deaths are amazing, they're really fun movies. I could say that, you know, 1 and 3 are probably the best films out of the whole series. Not saying that the 2 and um, 4 and 5 aren't great, they're, they're average sometimes. I have a big plan for the Final Destination series. I really want to review these. I've already reviewed the first one, so you can go over there and check that out. But I'm really excited to do the second one because I'm actually a big fan of the second one. I like the third one. I haven't seen the fifth one. Actually, I have seen the fifth one, sold in theaters. Dumb. And I haven't seen the fourth one yet, so I really want to check these out. I hope to review them sometime soon. All right, guys, those are the horror movie pickups that I've had over the past couple weeks. What did you think? Let me know down in the comments down below. Do you have any of these movies, or do you have any recommendations for horror Blu-rays for me to pick up? Also, let me know that down in the comments down below. If you haven't noticed, sitting over here, perched up above Ghostface, is Scream 3. I'm working very hard on my Scream 3 review. I'm trying to get that to you guys as soon as possible. I love that you guys have been checking out my Scream and Scream 2 reviews. I've been working really hard on this series. I worked really hard on those two reviews for you guys. I'm working really hard on Scream 3 and I hope to get it to you sometime next week. If you like this video and you want to see more content from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button, that way you get notified about all my future content, including my concluding Scream series reviews with 3 and 4, and all my future content, if I haven't said that already. I would also appreciate it if you check me out on social media. All those links are in the description box down below. But most importantly, I'm Zach, this has been the Cavern of Terror. Stay metal, my friends.